we've got 68 of the older aircraft being retired. We've got 32 additional 380s coming and taking us to 90, and this 777-300 order will take us to over 100 of those particulars. But at the same time, as I said, take out the 68, and you can see then the net growth is not as significant as many would have thought. Secondly, that these aircraft are coming in between September of next year, which is 11, through to November 17. So we've got a six-year delivery. I mean, a lot of our, a lot of the anxiety we seem to have created as a result of this was um, was uh, the old Vulcan landing, was the belief that they were all coming tomorrow. Well, they're not, uh, and uh, so people may sleep easily in their beds, believing that Emirates will assimilate this and grow our fleet at a pace which is uh, manageable by us, uh, but is over a six or seven year timeline. The 380 will figure very prominently as the essential, the long haul backbone of our fleet in the years to come, supported by the ERs and the 350s. And uh, if today is anything to go by where we have 11 flying, they're operating at nearly 100% seat factors where every time we fly it, Clearly that by buying 90 of them uh, is, not, is not going to be a problem to fill at all. And secondly, if there is a problem, it's because it's, we just don't get them soon enough. Uh, so we're having to live with the production ramp-up rate of uh, Airbus industry.